God filled me with the Holy Spirit in the year 1962 when I was 16 years old. Since then, one of my subjects of interest in the study of the scriptures has been the person and work of the Holy Spirit. What I have learned from the scriptures about the Holy Spirit during the last 40 years or more and have experienced in my own life, I have compiled them here and I am presenting them as if the Holy Spirit is speaking. My predecessor introduced me to his disciples as another helper. They were worrying what they would do when he would be taken away from them. He was not only their master, but also their friend. For everything they approached him, for help and consultation. He told them not to be troubled in their hearts, because he would send me in his place. His last sermon was about me. I prompted his bosom disciple, John, to record it in his gospel. The very mention of my name was allergic to people for a long time. They thought I belonged to the Pentecostal church because I came down from heaven on the day of Pentecost. But over the years, they have found out from the study of the scriptures that I am a gift from the Father to any of his children who would want me. Even though many Christians have now received me, they stop with their initial encounter with me. What John the Baptist referred to as the baptism with the Holy Spirit is only an introduction to a life with me. I want you to walk with me moment by moment. My Greek name is Parakletos, which means an ever-present helper alongside. Would you, my child, give me a patient ear as I want to tell you how I can help you. It is all for your good, dear. The Heavenly Father is a worship lover. Even though angels have been worshipping him non-stop from eternity past, he is not satisfied. He longs for worship from men and women. He looks for worshippers everywhere. Your worship actually does not add anything to his being. But he delights in it because that's where intimate fellowship begins. God through Moses had given to his people many laws on worship. It all became a mere ritual without spirit. But God is a spirit, not a substance. Worship, therefore, must be spiritual. I am sent to enliven your worship. When you open up yourself to me, I will release your inner man so your soul may be raptured into joyful praise. To what extent you empty yourself and seek me, to that extent I will fill you. I will make your heart rejoice and tongue glad. I will cause psalms and hymns and spiritual songs to flow out of your heart. You will make melodies and your spirit will soar high in exaltation. Not even David or Deborah had experienced this dimension. This was reserved for you who is drenched in my end time showers. Because language is the chief means of worship, I specifically touch your tongue. If you desire, I will gift you with the ability to speak in languages 
which you have neither learnt nor can understand. Through this gift, you can bypass your mind and bless God in your spirit. I will grant deep restfulness in your inner man and you will be thoroughly refreshed. My child, I also understand your difficulties in prayer. Many times, especially when you go through difficult and confusing situations, you do not know how and what to pray. You are unable to find God's mind. Don't worry, I am there for you. I will not only guide you in prayer, but also pray for you. I will groan for you when your language cannot adequately express your sorrow. Depend on me. I will help in your weakness. I know you love the Bible, but many times you find it difficult to understand. Don't lose heart, my child. I have come to explain to you its meaning. Do you know it was I who authored the scriptures? Moses wrote, David wrote, Isaiah wrote, Daniel wrote, Luke wrote, Paul wrote, and there were about 40 such writers. But I only inspired and instructed them. I also superintended them while they were writing. Not a single word was penned without my authorization. As such, who can explain the contents to you better than I? That's why the Son of God called me as the Spirit of Truth. I mean, I am committed to lead you into all truth. Your natural mind cannot understand the deep things of God. I will enlighten your mind so you will understand his mysteries. I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But he reveals them to you through me. Just as your spirit alone knows what is in you, I only know the things of God because I am his spirit. I do not want you to miss any of what God has promised you in his word. My true ministers will not attempt to explain to you those blessings through their brilliance. Rather, they will speak to you under my anointing. When you learn to recognize my voice and whisper, no one can easily deceive you with false teaching. I will grow you in the art of discernment. Don't ever neglect to meditate the Bible. That is the only guiding star in this world of darkness. Don't be deceived by strange voices. I also will not speak on my own authority. I will only take from what the Father and the Son have spoken. Unless you saturate your heart and mind with the written word, what can I remind you of at crucial situations? I am gentle as a dove. I won't force myself on anyone. Unless you invite me to help you, I will not assist you in your study of the scriptures. If you give me a free hand, I will transform you stage by stage so you as a child of God will become like the very Son of God whom you meet in the Holy Writ. Dear child, I would also like to help you in your battles of life. 
ever since we pushed Lucifer out of heaven, he is outrageously working against us and the entire creation. His main target is those who are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. His kingdom of darkness is in constant collision with our kingdom of light. Ultimate victory is ours, but the fight will be tough. You are engaged in a warfare that is both within you and without. I assure you of my help, whether it is inner conflict or external battle. The inner conflict is between your body and your mind. You are not able to do what you desire, but you keep doing what you hate. I hear your cry, who shall deliver me from this wretched condition? Fear not, I will take care of you. I am the spirit of life. I will give you new strength. I will empower you to overcome your sinful desires. Keep walking with me. Obey my promptings whether you like them or not. If you resist me who has actually come to help you, will I not be grieved? If you keep on grieving me, I may become quiet. It's not good for you, beloved. I am a Holy Spirit. I cannot tolerate anything unclean in you. You are my temple. How can I see my temple being defiled? I create in you a love for holiness and a hatred for sin. Keep your conscience sharp and clear. Don't close yourself when I turn my searchlight on you. If you run away from me without hearing my voice, you will become an easy prey to Satan, who is roaming about as a ravenous wolf and a roaring lion. If you must chase the devil, you need my backing. I will stand with you only when you stay submitted to me. The enemy comes in like a flood, suddenly and overwhelmingly. Don't be scared. Hold your ground. I will lift up a battle flag against him. I will also train your hands and fingers how to wield my sword against the spiritual powers of wickedness. The devil has no argument against my word and Christ's blood. But don't expect instant victories. The war may be long drawn. The devil will not easily give up. Keep drawing from my plentiful riches and drinking from my perennial rivers lest you get exhausted. It's neither by might nor by power but by me all battles are won. If you lose a battle, don't get discouraged. For my people, failure is never final. As long as I am here with you, and the Father and the Son are up there for you, don't quit. Come apart with me. And I will tell you why you failed. You will become more than a conqueror. I am grieved when I see my people walking around with long faces. Your life on earth will not be without worries. But you must learn to live above them. I am the river of joy. I proceed from the throne in heaven and flow through the church on earth. Have a bath in my waters. Sit under the trees on the banks. 
you will be healed of your hurts i am the wind of heaven enjoy my breeze your heaviness will flee i am the oil of gladness apply it on your head you will be relieved of tensions i will turn your mourning into dancing when problems mount up and pains increase remember you are not alone i am not just with you but in you i understand your pain more than you feel it because as god resident in you nothing is hidden from me i suffer with you i am your comforter forever i will strengthen your weak hands and feeble limbs lean on me my child lean on me i will heal your broken heart i will give you beauty for ashes and the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness eating and drinking and such physical pleasures don't last long revel in me that's what life in kingdom of god means i make the joy and the peace of jesus real to you it's what the world cannot give or understand or take away sometimes you may feel lonely and orphaned you would wonder whether i had left you remember dear child i don't make shunting trips between heaven and earth according to my moods and your condition no i am always with you whether you feel so or not if i have to vacate your heart every time you displease me i cannot be resident in any saint on earth i want to bring you out of your apprehensions to witness for christ you are afraid that people might mock at you your throat chokes every time you want to open your mouth to share the gospel the fear of ridicule silences you don't feel bad about it my child this was the problem of the disciples of jesus even though they had walked with him for over 3 years can you imagine how a key figure like peter could ever deny and disown christ their weakness overpowered their willingness that problem was solved by my coming that's why jesus would not let them go out until they got filled with my power when i came upon them the cowards became challengers be filled with me don't consider your timidity or boast of your oratory skill depend on me i will grant you boldness in all situations to speak for the message of the cross your educational qualification is not the criteria you will see souls saved when you witness to them for christ in my power i will equip you with my gifts you can discern spirits you can drive out demons you can deliver people from sin and sickness you can demonstrate my power through signs and wonders you can denounce evil through prophetic words you can declare words of faith in hopeless situations you can demoralize the enemy's agents you can dethrone wicked powers from governmental seats you can declutch youth from drugs and deception all these and more in my power satan will fight against you tooth and nail when you go proclaiming the gospel 
he will not easily loosen his grip on souls. Just because you go in my power, don't think he will stay silent. He will instigate people to work against you. He will incite them to beat or burn you. I won't promise that no stone pelted at you will hit you, but I will make your face angelic even if you have to bleed to death. I will keep your spirit sweet and not turn bitter against the persecutors. You will overflow with my joy. I will rest on you as the spirit of glory. Take heart. As much as I anoint your words, I will also adorn your life with my fruit. I will radically change your temperament if you let me work deeply in you. I will make you a loving Christian, joyful friend, peaceful citizen, patient sufferer, kind boss, good neighbor, faithful husband, meek wife, and self-controlled minister. There will be no arguments against a life well lived. My child, I want to help you in your earthly job also. It's my desire to make you efficient and effective in your career. When you depend on my power and seek my wisdom, you will shine in whichever field I place you. If you are a doctor, with my help you can treat better. If an engineer, build better. If a professor, teach better. If an artist, paint better. If a farmer, cultivate better. If a housewife, cook better. And if a student, learn better. I filled Joseph with my wisdom and he saved Egypt in famine. I filled Bezalel with understanding and he excelled in artistic works for, works for the temple. I filled Daniel with knowledge and he interpreted my revelations for kings. I am the spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, might and knowledge. There is no work or profession where I cannot help you. But what I told you, I am telling you again. You must ask for my help, accept it and acknowledge it. I will fill you afresh each morning when you wait before me before starting off to work. My presence will be with you in the work spot. Offices, workshops and business centers all over the world are plagued with corruption. Say no to malpractices. Dare to be different. I will strengthen you. Through you I will burn the chaff. Your superiors and colleagues will come to you for counsel because I have filled you with my wisdom. If you are treated unjustly, turn to me. I will fill you with the fruit of patience. Promotion comes from me. I want you to enjoy good health. Your body is mortal, but I am there to quicken it. Your body is my temple. I desire to see it in good shape. I will cause my healing virtue flow into it. Appropriate the blessings of the cross. I will apply them on you. I have endured the church with the gifts of healing. Pray for one another in faith. You will see the gifts operating. 
I also want you to enjoy soundness of mind. My dear child, you are engaged to be married to Jesus. I will be with you until I reach you home safe into his loving arms. Together, I as the spirit and you as the bride, let us say, Amen. Mm -hmm.